So a picture is worth a thousand words. I just want to show you when we get into surface area, although some of the equations can look intimidating, what we're really finding for surface area. All right, so this is, this is a cube. It's a special kind of prism, a square prism. And if we wanted to find the surface area, we need the area of this face and this face, and this face, and this face, and this base, and this base. So really what we're finding, if we were to take this out, this kind of gives you an idea of what you're really finding the area of. You're finding the area of the top square and the area of the bottom square. Those would be your two bases. And then here would be your four sides. That would be the surface area of that prism. How about here's my triangular prism. My bases are two triangles. But if I wanted to find the surface area, I need the area of that base and that base. So I've got two triangles and one, two, three faces. All the faces of a prism are always rectangles. So if we want the surface area, we need the area of the top base and the area of the bottom base and then the area of the three lateral faces. And then here, a hexagonal, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, a hexagonal right prism, surface area, I'm going to find the area of the two bases. So I need the area for how to find, I need the equation for how to find the area of a regular hexagon, one half apothem times perimeter and multiply it by two. And then the six faces are six rectangles. 